Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Actually, where are we? This is this is not any of our current series. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and stop the poor acting and just tell you straight up that I have joined a server, specifically the Rack server. Uh, there are several guys who have currently gotten an, uh, a server going called the Rack Server, Randoms Acts of Crafting, and they have been very gracious about letting me join. And so I am, ooh, I am on the server now with, with a bit of a lag and a spider who kills me and apparently the morph mod because I have the ability now to morph into a spider. But yes, this is a brand new series on a brand new server, and this is kind of awesome. They just rebooted the server, so it was a nice time to join. Uh, we don't have anything going yet. This is Spawn, hence the pillar with the lights on it. Very nice, very nice. This is Spawn, uh, and we are going to go out and find our base for this first particular episode. This is going to be a PvP kind of server from what I understand. You can opt out if you choose to, but I told people they are, are welcome to come and get me. I'm not very good at PvP, so I'll kinda easy kill. If if your ego needs a boost, guys, you could come you can come find me and take me down because there's a good chance you will be able to pull it off. Uh on the plus side I should hopefully increase my skills. It, so really it, it's probably good for me. And we have a little bit of a chunk loading error here. A little bit of a lag issue, but I'm. this is the first time I'm really logging on for any length of time. I hopped on for a few minutes just to make sure I could. Uh, and then this is the first time I've really been able to get on for a while. We're currently alone on the server. But there are quite a few guys who are active and who've already gotten uh, started and, and going. And I will link to their channel so you can go see their episodes and, and see what they're up to. Uh, and then you can tell me so I can go after them if necessary. Just don't tell them that you told me. Yeah, it'll, it'll be our secret. Uh, anyway, so this is this is Spawn in the Magical Forest. It's a nice little biome of death, really. I've already died once. Um, luckily, I've managed not to die since then. Knock on wood. Except this, this sheep keeps circling me, and I keep hearing the footsteps, and it keeps freaking me out. Did I hear a zombie? I think I hear a zombie. I think the mobs have been tweaked here, because some of these mobs are wearing... Lots of jewel. I totally hear a zombie. I hear baby zombie specifically. I don't know where he's coming from. He makes me nervous. But yeah, so I have obviously I've wandered around a little bit. I've got some stuff going on. I've been picking up seeds for random things. There's something called a squid plant, which is unusual. And then of course the bushes, because you know how I am about my plants and stuff. I've got to have one of every kind of plant. Speaking of which, let's grab a la raspberry bush for later. You only need one. We don't need many. Um, yeah, so but we're going to strike out somewhere in some direction. I'm going to turn off my mini-map to keep it somewhat hidden. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything really underground. I'm not going to make it too, too difficult to find me, uh, hopefully, other than just... What is that noise? I don't know what that noise is. Yeah, freaking me out. Oh, oh, you know what I get? I think, I think that's a peck. I don't know why I think the peck's in the bush. I don't think there's a peck in the bush, <laughs> which sounds really funny. Uh, but yeah, peck is a magical forest biome creature, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I should not be killed by that. Do we have blueberries? I do blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I just need the mallow berries. And then I will be done with my Natura bush collection, because that's, that's the way I roll. A little bit of everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure which direction we're going to go. Uh, maps are disabled. This is all I can see if I click my map. I don't know. I'm assuming this is a Galacticraft thing, which I do want to get into. Uh, I think that will be kind of awesome. There's lots and lots of mods. This is a custom mod pack specifically for this server. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff. Some I am familiar with, like the bees, which is awesome. They do have the bees and the extra bees on here, so we will definitely be getting into that since uh, this series will be taking the place of uh, the direwolf. Direwolf will be going to special episodes only. Um, I'll still be playing a little bit because I do have uh, a very good friend of mine who plays on that. Uh, but I think I'm going to limit it to when he's able to record. So we'll occasionally do a few episodes together, but he is super busy. Uh, so I don't think it's gonna, I don't think he's gonna get the chance to do it all that often. Uh, I probably will continue Attack of the Bee Team for the current while. Uh, if there's also a vanilla Rack Pack server. That will be coming up once 1.8 comes out, uh, and that's likely going to replace the Attack of the Bee Team. 
I just don't have a lot of time to do all of them. I wish I could. It would be fun, but at the same time... Ooh, there's a lot of mobs. We're gonna run. <laughs> you saw that out of the corner of my eye. I saw Endermen and Spiders, and I, I want none of that. None of that. Uh, the hat mod is in, as you can see, by the sheep wearing a hat. In fact, since I'm alone on the server, a bed might be a good thing to have. So I kill the sheep and get the hat on top of it. Let's see, how many wool did we get off of that? Just the one wool. I uh, probably should shear these sheep instead of killing them all, but we'll see if... Give me two. Two wool. Two wool. Four for four. A little bit of lag. Die. Two wool. One wool. Okay, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just dig in the hole and wait for the night. I'm a little bit of a chicken. <laughs> just not even deal with that. I think there's a death counter on here. I'm not quite sure. I haven't, like I said, this is the first time I've really been able to play on play on it too much. I'm just going to dig into a hole. And I'm going to wait for a night. And then I'm going to go wandering. Uh, so I will probably see you once I'm done wandering. And have found somewhere, somewhere far away where I may or may not want to put my base. Um, if I see anything cool, I'll probably just stop there and finish up the episode there. But in any case, I will be... Back in a minute. What? I'm still in shock. I am still in shock. I found a place for my base, and I thought, okay, setting it up. I've spent several hours digging it out and setting it up and getting ready to come back on and show everybody the lovely progress I have made. And then a creeper came up. I went out in the morning, doing my thing, heard the stupid hissing, started running. I guess it's more of a sizzling than a hissing. Anyway, started running. Just ran. Of course, I have no armor, uh, so I was blown up, of course. Uh, so yeah, not so, so not so bad. Two deaths, rank five, I don't know what that means. Uh, blown up by a creeper. My home bed was missing or obstructed, which is not true. Not true. Oops, not true. Uh, I can't, why can't? There we go. Not true. Not true. Not true. I had just actually made a point, because I had broken my bed to put underground. And then I realized that I was going to glitch through something. Anyway, uh, then I realized that I hadn't slept in my bed in the new place after I broke it. So I, I broke the bed, went downstairs. I've been doing my thing for a while before I remembered, oh yes, I should probably sleep in the bed. So in case I die, I will respawn in my new base. But no, 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 I did. I totally did sleep in my new bed. And yeah, actually, you know what? Come to think of it. I think I placed the bed at dawn so I couldn't sleep because it was at night. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't uh, I'm going to cry. Excuse me while I go cry. Okay. I, I didn't write down the coordinates of my new base either because that would have been smart and I am anything if not terribly unsmart, apparently. Uh. I believe this tree was me. I think I started cutting down this tree because I was being killed by a creeper and I needed some way of defending myself. So I think I'll finish cutting it down and then somehow make my way back to where I was, hopefully, because I put a lot of work in there despite the fact that I wasn't completely set up yet. I still had some nice stuff going. What is that? It's a spider. So I'm going to have to... Uh, <laughs> Didn't write down my coordinates. Forgot to sleep in the bed. Oh, these are all rookie mistakes. <laughs> this is this is terrible. This is terrible. This is not a good start. Not a good way to make a good impression. <laughs> Nobody would have to know except for the fact that I kind of have video evidence and I'm going to feel compelled to share it because this derpiness must be shared with the world. <laughs> I cannot. This this yeah no this this level of derptitude cannot be held in solitary confine I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I'm gonna I'm gonna finish chopping down this tree and then I'm gonna see if I can hopefully make my way back to my base and I'll see you hopefully hopefully in a minute hopefully in my new base <sighs> I have managed to make it back to my base uh, luckily the mini map uh, we don't have an overview map for this server uh, since it is going to be kind of PvP based, we don't. We've thought maybe an overview map might be kind of cheaty, uh, but we do have individual mini maps which I currently have turned off, so as not to be too obvious about my location. Obviously, I'm not too concerned about some things. Uh, I don't necessarily want to be impossible to find at this point in time. I'd prefer not to be found just so I can get set up. Uh, but later on, yeah, later on I'll just be whatever. Come at me, bros. Uh, like I said, it'll be easy for them to kill me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I could have worried too much. So this is my base. Uh, down here, just started a mine shaft. I actually hit an abandoned mine shaft, so that's quite a bit of luck. Do you have a chest right below? I haven't opened the chest. I haven't done any of that. I figured I'd do that on camera. But along with, apparently, Choo Choo, which... That's interesting. That did say choo-choo, right? I'm not going crazy. There is a slime down there that says choo-choo. Making weird noises. Anyway, there's there's a chest right there. Uh, we'll get that probably in the next episode. We'll go exploring that mine, that mine shaft. I uh, don't have the resources at the moment. I would like to at least get some armor. Uh, so hopefully I don't die like I did earlier. I've only had two deaths so far. I'd like to keep it minimum as possible. Uh, die just not that often would be would be ideal. I like to to live. I want to live uh, But yeah, so this is just the basic setup. I'm going to just flatten all of this This was an existing cave that I've just kind of decided to make my base for now uh, So all of this is gonna get just flattened It's gonna be the same height as that tinkers construct smeltery over there Which of course as you can see I've set up a tinkers construct smeltery uh, to get some ore generation uh, part of the uh, custom mod pack for the rack server is actually uh, X Nilo is one of them, which is all the fabulous stuff over here. And this is what makes uh, the Skyblock game or the Skyblock mod Agrarian Skies possible, which is another series I've been working on. So I'm actually very familiar with this particular uh, setup here. I'm, I'm very particular with this mod. Uh, and I'm very happy to have it in because it does make it a lot easier for me to have made uh, a few things. For example, lava. I can create in this X Nilo crucible here. Uh, I can show you the recipe for the crucible. You get an unfired crucible, uh, make porcelain clay, which is just clay and bone meal, and then you put them in the same format as like a cauldron. Uh, and you get an unfired crucible. You stick it in the furnace and you cook it, and you get a regular crucible here. Uh, you feed the regular. Uh, crucible cobblestone and over time as long as you have some sort of heat source beneath it let me grab it uh, and you fill it with cobble just by right clicking but as long as you have some sort of heat source beneath it a torch or burning netherrack or lava uh, it will just convert this into lava in fact now that we have some lava let's go ahead and convert this over because lava creates more heat and burns the cobble faster than a torch does. So we're going to go ahead and convert that real quick. There we go. Uh, and so this will melt down and this will feed our crucible, or excuse me, our, uh, what is this thing? This thingy, the thing that does the stuff, the smeltery. It will burn down, uh, it will, yeah, I'm making total sense. This is fun. Uh, it will feed, feed the smeltery is what it is. So this is, this is very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and say goodbye to the fellas. And good. Whoop. There. Easy enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. So, we're, this, this will feed the smeltery. It will be nice and lovely. Uh, all right here. All together. So, we've already, we already got it going. Uh, and this is just so, of course, so I can double my ore production right off the bat. I did smelt down enough for a bucket. Uh, so I have some iron, and for some reason I did copper. I'm not sure why I decided I needed eight things of copper, but apparently I did. Um, we are actually going to get some bronze going because I've done just a little bit of mining, and I've managed to get some tin and some copper. Iron, for some reason, other than the eight I already cooked, I have five iron ore here. So I had a total of 13 iron, and that's all I found so far. Uh, wandering around up top side and then coming down here, and that's this is a little unusual. Iron is... Normally one of the more easily found ores, uh, but I've only found 13 so far, so this is going to be interesting to see if this is just a part of a thing, or I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, but we have, uh, yeah, so we have the wonders of Ex Nilo, so here's our lava gen for our smeltery, and then we have over here, uh, I was able to create said smeltery by clay blocks that I got also from the Ex Nilo. Uh, I create a hammer, which is this guy here, which is a very easy recipe. I'll just show you the iron one. It's the same guy, you know, instead of iron, you put cobblestone, of course, and you get a hammer. And then using the hammer, you take cobble, and if you hit the cobble, you get, pick it up, you get gravel. Then if you hit the gravel, let's blow that up, you get sand, aha, uh -huh. and then if you hit the sand, 
and break the sand with your hammer, you get dust. And then take a wooden barrel, which again, I'll show you the recipe real quick. All this stuff you can find on your own. I mean, it's not difficult to make. It's a very easy mod. Um, and the Agrarian Skies has really helped nicely getting all the all the cool stuff. Uh, but you just fill a wooden barrel. You can also put these outside and the rain will fill it. Um, but you just fill it with a bucket and then you right click with a block of dust and the dust turns to clay and you have clay. You have a block of clay, which is fantastic. And then I used this uh, and I made sand and gravel what I what I was lacking um, from just mining and finding it out and about. I was able to use the X-Nilo hammer to create more and, and generate more and then get the clay. The clay is really what I wanted. And then, of course, to get the grout for the uh, smeltery like that. Tinker's Construct. I don't need any more at the moment. So we have gotten that all set up, and it's, it is quite nice, if I do say so myself. And we've already got lava going. I love this mod. Oh, not quite enough. It's some lava, but it's not full. It's not a bucket's worth. We'll add more of those. Okay. Uh, so armor is really where I want to go first. I already grabbed what I needed. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just start off with some bronze armor, because I think that's kind of going to be a little bit important, I think. I'm just going to kind of... Let's see, if I remember correctly, bronze is copper and tin, I believe. If not, we'll just have smelted this. I believe it's one tin to four copper, or th excuse me, three copper. So this will actually be a little short on the copper, but that's okay. So we're going to let that melt for a while, and we're going to make, just make some armor so we don't get killed. I ran into a very well uh, set up, oh, I don't want to go up there yet. Sorry, sorry, I'm not showing the area. <laughs> I was going to go up there and, and see, chop down trees while I talked, but then I remembered, not quite yet. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes later on. Um, I don't quite know what to do with myself now that I can't chop down trees and talk at the same time. This is, this is all discombobulating. That's all right. Uh, but yeah, we're going to make, going to make a chest piece and some armor and stuff, and that way we can go down and take on that abandoned mine shaft next period, but I had, uh, next period, um, back in it's like I'm back in school that was years ago man this is this is sad um, next uh, next episode we'll go down that mine shaft uh, but for now I'm just going to um, I had a, a, a skeleton come over here and uh, he was covered in some blue armor and the mobs again this is part of the mod uh, I think it's the infernal mobs mod where it makes the mobs harder uh, they have different types of armor and this particular one had some sort of potion effect on me, despite the fact that the skeleton couldn't reach me to hit me with an arrow. Uh, as I was killing him, he kept making me hungry. I kept getting the, the hunger uh, negative effect and actually had to stop fighting him. He had a ton of health, too. He had like 80 points of health. Um, and I had to stop and go... <laughs> I actually, I had to go eat something in order to finish killing him. Uh, luckily, he waited politely for me to get back to finish to finish my meal and get back, and and then it was all copacetic. But yeah, it was it was it was interesting. This is a very interesting mod so far. Uh, for example, these pneumatic craft. There's lots of these types of plants out and about, and I haven't quite figured out what to do with them because when it looks like these to me look like they are completely full grown, when I hit them. All I do, though, is I get uh, seeds. That's all I get. Uh, I don't get any other plant or something, so I don't know. I guess it's just for the dye, I suppose, would be my guess. I'm, I'm not sure if they're supposed to do anything else or if there's anything else you can do with them. I'm definitely going to have to do a little research. And it is kind of odd because in order to plant them, you can't just right-click on some farmland. Uh, you actually will notice on the tooltips here, you can plant them on dirt, grass, or farmland, and you have to press Q to plant seeds, which basically means you toss them, and then you wait, and they poof, and they're planted. So that's that's a little bizarre. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I'm betting that they're just used for, um, oh, I can't, I keep, I keep trying to right click, even though I know better. I'm betting they're just used for different resources, I guess, for the different dyes. Uh, we do have dye trees installed, so I've been collecting those as I go. We also have uh, witchery mod. So we've got some witchery plants here that I grabbed along the way. Uh, you know me, just as I went along, I, I grabbed whatever I could hold, all the plants I could hold, which actually was not much because I don't have a backpack. I will have to go out and about and see if I can get some more stuff. So I got a little bit of lag going on here. Okay. 
We got some water artichokes from the witchery mod. I'm excited about getting into the witchery mod. I I had the other series I was working on, the Attack of the B Team series, has the witchery mod. And I didn't really do much with it because the, the witchery mod to me, as awesome as it is, it really seems like it's made for a multiplayer server. It doesn't really seem to lend itself well to single player because there's so much in it that you can essentially do to other players. Uh, and so as a single player mod, it was, it was interesting, but it just, you know, it, it's not as much fun if you can't mess with other people. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. We got bronze. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to have the bronze. I'm also going to need to make all the casts and stuff. I've done that before in another series. So I'm not going to show that on camera. I'll just make some aluminum brass and, and get those going. Um, but yeah, I don't think we need to go over that again. I just, I'm more interested at this point in just armoring up. Did I not click? Give it to me. Give it. Give it to me. Okay. Because I don't, I don't want to die. I keep on dying and I don't want to die. I'd like to live. Just let me live my life. Aha, chest piece. Oh, it even tells you hit points. That's nice. 560. Oh, and mechanism tools. Mechanism is yet another mod that's been added that I don't know anything about. Let's actually take a look and see. There's so much here that I don't know. So I'm a little bit excited. Mechanism. I'm a little bit excited about all the stuff that's available. Wow. That is one fancy looking miner. Huh. Crusher. Combiner. Wind turbine. Advanced factory. Oh, this is elite factory. This is all kinds of fancy stuff we got going on now. Salination controller, compressed carbon, portable teleport, portable teleporter. Ooh, I think that's something I definitely need to look into. I want to be able to teleport. Bronze block. Yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. This is definitely going to be uh, one of my goals for this series. Will actually be exploring a lot of the mods that I'm not familiar with. Uh, regardless, uh, did I not hit that? Regardless of whether or not I've shown it on another series, um, I do, I do want to, you know, look more into the ones that I haven't fully studied, so to speak. Because, uh, ooh, just a little bit of lag. Come on, dump it in there. There, no, no, stay, stay, stay lava, good lava. Okay. So, alrighty. Well, I think we're gonna get that. And I think we're going to make another pair of pants. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. You don't need to see, you don't need to see me make all of my gear. Because it's, you know, the same thing over again. Not anything too fancy. I just wanted to show off the basics of the base. Uh, see where we're going with this and what we're doing. Uh, nice little start. I've only died twice. <laughs> that's, I think that's a pleasant thing. I do have a little bit of lag. You can see how it's kind of jumpy. I don't know what's going on, but that's all right. We'll figure that out. Um, yeah, and we'll tackle the abandoned mine shaft and get some mining and, and gear up a little bit more. Uh, get this place all cleaned up and get it looking pretty. Got to purtify it. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, I think this is a fairly successful start despite the rocky beginning. Uh, so anyway, thanks everyone for watching. My name is Ryla, and I will talk to you later.